Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm doing a huge kitchen clean up so I thought I would take you along with me if you're in need of some cleaning and motivation or you just want to have this on in the background while you're cleaning. First off I'm making up a simple cleaning solution in this empty Cleanology spray bottle. All I'm doing is putting a couple of squirts of my favourite method rose gold washing up liquid into the bottle. Then I fill up the bottle with water and just shake up the solution. This is just an easy all purpose cleaner that can be used to clean anything and everything around the house. Now I don't know about you but I always like to work my way round a room section by section instead of doing a bit here and a bit there. So first off I'm taking everything out of the cupboard where we store our glasses and plates etc and giving this a good wipe down with the multi-purpose solution. Next, moving on to the coffee bar area. Again, I'm taking everything off here and I'm just wiping down and cleaning the surface and everything that is stored here. I like to give the kitchen a good deep clean every couple of months and then in between that, I'll do a general clean up every week and a spot clean every evening. Okay, so next thing in this section of the kitchen, I decided to clean out the drawers and give them a thorough wipe down. We actually got this new Perspex cutlery tray, I think at the start of the year from TK Maxx. It was really affordable and it's the perfect size to store not only the cutlery in, but knives as well. Then the smaller containers to the left I shared with you in my Poundland haul a few months back. These are so handy to use in the kitchen and really anywhere around the house to store just about anything in. Thank you. 
in all of my makeup vanity drawers and kitchen drawers I like to use this plastic non-slip liner from Ikea you actually just buy it on a roll and then you can cut it to size to fit any small drawer or cupboard and that way it keeps everything from not only moving around but it also protects the bottom of the drawer or shelf from scratching. Now I'm moving on to the oven and hob section which of course tends to get the most dirty so I'm wiping down the oven hood and fan and cleaning the backsplash and then I'm also cleaning up any mess on the hob and wiping down the oven door. Now I do have a video which was in my spring cleaning playlist on how I clean the inside of my oven so I'll link that down below if you want to go and check that out. Finally, as it was getting late, I just decided to clean out the food storage cupboard for today and do the rest tomorrow. Inside the cupboard, I love using these baskets in all different sizes from Curva to greet together different foods and condiments and then the round plastic containers at the top of the shelves are from Poundland and they actually still have them available they're a bit like gold dust sometimes they're there and then other times you can't get them for months but they're really handy to store rice and pasta and things like that in
Moving on to the next day, I needed to pick up some more white vinegar and bicarb of soda, which I grabbed from Wilco to clean the kitchen sink with. I also like to buy some flowers for the kitchen too, just to brighten up the room. And some flowers are in season at the moment, and I managed to find these beautiful ones from Lidl for three pounds. So going back to the white vinegar and bicarb of soda that I picked up, now I'm really into the white vinegar which already comes in a handy spray bottle from Wilco and it's super affordable as well, it's £1 something and you get a decent amount. But the bicarb from Wilco I don't love as much as the one I used to get from Lidl which I've spoken about before. You just get it in the baking section but unfortunately I haven't been able to find that lately. They don't seem to have it in stock. So the Wilco one works just as well but I just prefer the little one because it's a little bit thicker. I don't know, it works a bit better if you see what I mean. Anyway, how I use these two products is I just sprinkle the bicarb onto the sink and then I spray the white vinegar over it and then I just let it sink in and lift up any dirt and grime that's on the sink and then while that's working its magic, I'm just wiping down the rest of the cupboards with my all-purpose cleaner. Next I'm just taking down everything from the windowsill and giving that a good wipe down and I also like to just quickly spot clean the windows with my Cleanology glass cleaner that I'll link down below. I've actually seen them in Lidl, they still seem to have them every week in stock and all the sort of scents as well and then if you can't get them in there the Cleanology cleaners then you can get them in weight trays they're just a little bit more expensive So now that the bicarbonate of soda and white vinegar have been soaking in the sink for a while, I'm now just going to go back in with a scourer to scrub down all the surfaces and then rinse everything off.
finally to finish I've just wiped down the last bit of surface in the kitchen and I'm also just cleaning the washing machine on the outside then I decided to put a load of washing on because it was really nice outside. I also like to light a candle just to get rid of any nasty kitchen smells. And I think what I'm going to do is clean out the fridge freezer in a separate video. So to finish I'm just hoovering and mopping up the floor using my method quick floor cleaner which I absolutely love and I'll link down below. And that is it guys, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you found this motivating. If you are in need of cleaning your kitchen or anywhere in the house don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a great rest of the week guys and I will see you then. Take care, bye.